Well, hello, Patriots, and welcome to Aurora, Colorado! I've said it once, I'm gonna say it again. The Democrats didn't realize that it was gonna be little old me out of Aurora, Colorado, that exposed the broken immigration system to the entire country. And make no mistake of it, these pictures you see, these mug shots you see, this is not a feature of my imagination. When I started having police officers come to me and tell me, Danielle, there's a Venezuelan prison gang that is here, that is taking over apartment complexes in the city, and we need help. That's pretty serious to have police officers come to a city council person and ask for that help. And when I started asking questions, and I was told about code enforcement violations, let me tell you something, I have never met a police officer in my life that is scared of code enforcement violations. When I went in, when I decided to go in, when I got done asking questions, when I wasn't getting the truth, when I wasn't getting the answers, and I decided I had to take action, I decided I had to go in myself and start moving people out. I witnessed it with my own two eyes. I saw how these people were living in my city, in my hometown. I have been in Aurora, Colorado my entire life. I own businesses in Aurora. I'm a single mom. I'm a community college graduate of Aurora. Everything about Aurora is my home. And let me tell you something. You come into this city and you threaten the residents of Aurora, Colorado, I will come for you. And let me tell you something else. Aurora, Colorado is not a sanctuary city. The millions of dollars, the millions of dollars, your dollars that were funneled to these nonprofits to place these people into my city. They came through Denver, and let me tell you something else. Denver had better start to keep to themselves. The time of Denver controlling the entire state, these days are over. They are over. If you would have asked me, if you would have asked me four years ago, if I would have ever thought I'd be in politics, I'd have laughed at you. I would have laughed at you. But Jared Polis decided to shut my business. Jared Polis decided to shut my businesses down. What, what Jared Polis didn't realize is when he shut my businesses down, he woke me up. So I decided to run to represent my hometown. And make no mistake of it, folks, they can threaten me, they can try to silence me, they can lie about me, they can do whatever they want. I'm not going anywhere, and I will fight for Aurora. important, it is so important to get out and to talk to people in this election. Get out, don't be scared, get out and talk to people, face them. Because this November, we will vote. And in January, we will have Donald J. Trump back in the White House.
I want to thank you all so much for all of your support. You guys have seen in the media how this has unfolded. But so many of you out there and so many of you that I don't know, you've found me on social media. You've emailed me. You've called me. I hear your prayers. I have your love and your support. I feel it. I know it. I'm going to continue to fight. God bless all of you. God bless Aurora. And God bless the United States of America.